Valentina, you still don't have Matthew ready for dinner. I'm so sorry, I just got a little busy. Busy. All you have to do is cook and clean. How hard could it be? And that sweater is all wrinkled. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll take care of it right now. <sighs> I am exhausted from shopping all day. I'm gonna go take a bath. Take those bags upstairs for me. And have dinner ready by the time I come back. Yes, ma'am. Here's your card. <laughs> but I might need it again tomorrow. <laughs> sure, honey. Ugh, about time. Oh, Valentina, let me help you then. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Let her carry the plates. That's her job. It's okay, I can manage. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Ugh. Chicken again? This is the second time this week. Take these away and make us something else. Um, yes, ma'am. Of course, sorry. Tracy. She worked so hard on that. I can't believe you just treated her that way. That is her job, Ron. And it is not that hard. Oh, that's easy for you to say. Maybe you should try doing her job one time. Then you'd see how hard it really is. <laughs> I don't think so. These hands were made for shopping, not working. Let me know when you're done. I have another task for you. Sure, no problem. I'm so <sighs> sorry. <sighs> Any idea how expensive that plate was? I'm so sorry, you can deduct it from my pay. Or maybe I shouldn't pay you at all. I mean, why even have you around if you can't even do your job right? You know what? Enough is enough. Get your things and go. You're fired. What? Please, ma'am, I need this job. Well, you should have thought of that before you broke that plate. Please don't do this to me. Go. Now. Hey, is everything okay? I heard something break. No, I had to fire Valentina. What? Who's gonna cook and clean and watch Matthew now? It's not like any of it's that hard. We'll just hire another housekeeper to do it. No, <laughs> no, enough is enough. I am not hiring another housekeeper. If you think her job is so easy, you can do it yourself. What? I'm serious. Because you never know how hard somebody's job actually is until you do it yourself. It's that or I'm never gonna give you my credit card again. Oh, fine. I mean, how hard can it be? For the first time in her life, Tracy's about to learn the meaning of hard work. The next day, Tracy does laundry and tries to get Matthew ready for the day, only to realize that taking care of her son is a lot harder than it looks. That night, she spends a long time preparing dinner to feed her family, but her son takes one look at it and doesn't want it. She starts to see how difficult cooking really is. After dinner, she cleans the kitchen and washes all the dishes. Exhausted, she ends up dropping one of the dishes and breaks it. In that moment, she understands just how difficult Valentina's job really was. And then a few days later, she gets a visit from an unexpected person. Valentina. Um, hello, ma'am. I, um, I just came to bring you this. I felt really bad for breaking your plate. Oh my gosh, it's, don't worry about it. I feel really bad for how I treated you. 
have no idea how hard your job was until I tried to do it myself. Can you forgive me? Yes, of course. Thank you for the apology. Well, this place has been a disaster without you. If you're open to it, I would love to have you come back. We can even talk about giving you a salary increase. Because you work so hard. Wow, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here, let me help you with that. No, it's okay. I'll get it myself. And I promise to help you out a whole lot more around the house. Can you show me where the trash goes? <laughs> yeah, it's over here. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. There you go. You're all set, Mr. Ortiz. Great. Thank you, Anthony. Something about watching you do the dishes is... Stop. What if your wife sees us? She's not gonna see us. Don't worry about it. Roman! Oh, good. The sink is fixed. Thank you so much, Janice, for doing the dishes. You are a lifesaver. You're welcome, ma'am. So, sweetie, mm -hmm. I am going to run a bath. Okay. I'll see you in bed. Okay. Sounds good, sweetheart. Okay, don't be too long. Okay. Oh my God, does she never leave? I don't know what it is, but this uniform just, I just can't keep my hands off you. I feel bad. Why? You're married. Look, I'm not in love with Christine anymore. And the truth is, I'm in love with you now. Oh, I forgot my towel. Ruben? What is happening here? Uh, we were... Uh, she was just showing me something, and it's not what you think, sweetheart. We were just talking. Get out! Mim, now! You're fired! Get out of my house! No, no! no. Don't leave. Don't leave. What? Janice isn't going anywhere. This is my house. I pay the bills, and I decide who can stay. Actually, I need you to leave. Are you serious? What is happening? What did you expect? Huh? I mean, take a look at yourself. You've completely let yourself go. You're not the woman I fell in love with. It's over. But I'm sorry. But not everybody's meant to be in your life forever. And I love Janice now. I need you to leave. The wife is devastated and leaves the house heartbroken. Ruben quickly moves on and starts to enjoy his new life with Janice. With Christine now gone, he no longer has to hide his love anymore. Everything seems perfect until one day he walks in on Janice cheating on him with the plumber. She tells Ruben that she's loved the plumber all along and ends up leaving him. With both Janice and Christine now gone, Ruben is all alone and heartbroken. He starts to let himself go and to miss the old life he had with Christine. So one day, he goes and tries to get her back. Hey. What are you doing here? I wanted to apologize. I was wrong about everything. If it helps you to know, I, I got what I deserved. <laughs> Janice cheated on me with a plumber and um, sorry to hear that. You think we could start over? I miss the way things were between us, you know? Um, you think we can work things out? Ruben, 
look at you. You've completely let yourself go. You're not the man I fell in love with. Oh, wait, come on. Just give me one more chance, please. I'm sorry. Not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever. Wait, no. Just wait. I'm so sorry for your loss, Brian. Your mother was a great woman. She was like my very own family. Thank you. What was your name again? Estella. Oh, Stella, that's right. Yes, it's really too sad. But on the brighter side of things, you know, my mother was a multimillionaire, and I don't have any other family members, so I'm gonna get everything in her will. Hello, everyone. I'm Albert. Her mother put me in charge of her finances. If you two are ready, we can go ahead and discuss Miss Davis's will. Yes, uh, I'd like to start with real estate. I want to sell it all. And how fast do you think I could get that money? Before I answer that, let's take a look at your mom's will. Yeah, of course. It says, I, Susan Davis, am leaving all of my cash and properties to Stella Gonzalez. Well, <laughs> Stella, the caretaker. Okay, no, that must be a mistake, all right, because I'm her only living family member. She told me she was gonna leave everything to me. Well, I'm sorry, Stella's name is what's written here. And there's also another note, and to my son. Family does not require blood. It only requires love. Okay, let me. Okay, what does this even mean? You, what did you do? Okay, tell me exactly what happened the last time you saw my mother. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. The last time I saw your mother was on her birthday. It was her birthday, so I brought her a cake. I was walking to your mom's hospital room to check up on her because her condition was getting a lot worse. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss Davis. You're crying. <laughs> Why are you crying? <sighs> it's nothing, Stella. No. Please. Tell me. It's my son. I haven't seen him in years. I feel so alone. Oh, you're not alone, Miss Davis. You have me. I'll always be here for you. Hey, Mom. I, uh, I needed to talk to you about something. Oh, my son, <laughs> my beautiful baby boy, you finally came to see me. This is the best birthday gift ever. Oh, uh, that's right. Um, happy birthday, Mom. Look, I, uh, I don't have a lot of time right now, but... I don't think you do either, so I think we should really talk about my future. Okay. What are you trying to say? Well, as your only living family member, I just... I wanted to make sure that you were going to leave everything to me in your will. Oh. You're here about the money. Well, you're the only family that I have. So.
So yes. Okay. Great. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I thought that was going to be your answer. I just wanted to come by, you know, make sure. And yeah, on that note, I I, I kind of have to go, but happy birthday. The only time he comes to visit me is when he needs money. He doesn't even care about me. <laughs> I have no one who truly loves me, Stella. Oh, Miss Davis. You're not alone. I'm always here for you. You've always been so good to me. Why do you do so much? Well, I've always believed that family doesn't require blood. It requires love. And you're like family to me. That's really beautiful. And you're more like family to me than even my own son. So you see, that was the very last time I saw her. She died. The very next morning. I know. I, I can't believe this. Okay, I needed that money. It looks like you and I have a lot to talk about. The first thing I'm going to do is build a school in Mrs. Davis's name so that everyone can see how wonderful a woman she was. She was my family. He's going to be here any second now. Did you finish doing the laundry? Ruby? What? You... Yes. Uh, sorry, Miss Elizabeth. The laundry, is it done? I need this place to look perfect before he gets here. I'm going to get to it in just a sec. I'm almost done here. The counter is fine. It's just one tiny little spot but that won't come off. Look, I don't pay you by the hour so you can scrub an invisible spot. Would you please get the covers? Yes, ma'am. Great. He's already here. Oh my goodness, come in, come in. Oh, it's been so long. This is Ruby. I just hired her to help around the house. Hi. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna put these on real quick. Do you need some help? Oh, no. Don't be silly. You just flew in. I don't want you lifting a finger while you're here. Are you sure? I, I really don't mind. Yes. No, sure. Ruby, when you get done with that, could you go set the table for us? Sure. I just need to take out the trash, finish folding the clothes, and then I'll set the table after that. Why can't you take care of the table first? It's my OCD. I get a little anxious when things aren't in order. <laughs> OCD? Really? Come on. That's just something made up. I promise you, it's a real disorder. Look, I don't want to argue in front of my grandson. So can you please go set the table? I'm sure my grandson is starving, aren't you, honey? Fuela, it's fine. I had a snack on the plane. I really don't mind waiting, so... Ruby, if you need help... Oh, get... nonsense! She's got this. You, go have a seat. I want to hear all about school and your new girlfriend. Okay, let me just wash my hands first. Ruby! Hmm? Why are 
are you scrubbing the counter again? I'm sorry, I just saw one more spot. The counter is fine. But do you know what isn't? The table! Thank you. Yeah, Alice is pretty great. So what about school? How's that going? Uh, yeah, maybe we should talk about that over dinner. Ruby almost looks like she's done. That's a great idea. I actually made your favorite. Ruby, do you mind getting the spaghetti and soup, please? Uh, sure. Uh, just one sec. I'm almost done. The table is good enough. Please, go get the food. Okay. Look, I really appreciate you caring about all these little details, but this is getting ridiculous. I know, I know, and I, I'm sorry. It's just, I really get bothered when things aren't perfectly aligned. I get it. Sometimes it's even hard to eat when that's all you can focus on. Exactly. Please, don't encourage her. It's only gonna make things worse. Well, I just take it easy. You don't understand. This is what I've been dealing with all day. Ruby, the soup is getting cold. Ruby! There, it's, it's all set. I'll be right back. Do you see what I have to deal with? So, do you remember that vegetable soup they used to love so much as a kid? Yeah. I made it for you. Oh, gracias, Abela. Yeah. Go ahead and serve him first. Sure. So, how are your pre-med classes going? Uh... Well, you know, I have been talking to all of my country club and telling them that my grandson is going to become a doctor. They're all so... What are you doing? Sorry. There wasn't enough vegetables in it. <sighs> it's no problem. Anyway, they're all so jealous because their kids didn't even go to college. And most of them just want to become YouTubers. Yeah, the world's definitely changed. So, what classes are you in? What is wrong now? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Just this time, there wasn't enough broth in it. Are you kidding? It was perfectly fine. No, I just have to make sure that there's a perfect balance with the broth and the vegetables. We're gonna starve to death before you get it right. Well, it's okay. Just let her... No. This has gone too far. You know what? Just leave it. I'll do it. No, I can do it. I said I will do it. Great. Now look at what you've done. Oh no. Um, I'll clean it up right now. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, I got you. Are you purposely trying to ruin our dinner? No. No. It's, it's just my OCD. I can't help it. I get anxiety if things aren't perfect. I told you I didn't want Carlos doing anything. And now he's cleaning the table. It's not a big deal. Just give me the towel. It's, it's okay. For what? So you can take another hour wiping the table? Not a chance. I feel really bad. I think I made a huge mistake in hiring you. I don't think I can take this anymore. Please, please, no, I can get better. It's just... Ruby, I completely understand. Abuela, just relax. Look, it's clean. No, you don't understand. She spent 20 minutes scrubbing the counter. She's probably doing this just so she can build me overtime. No, no, that's not true. You don't even have to pay me extra. I just... I, I don't want to hear it. You know what? You can just go pack up your things and go because you're fired. What? No! Stay out of this. Please. I said go! Go now! He didn't have to do that. 
Mijo, sit down. Look, you're gonna be a doctor for crying out loud. There's no need for you to be cleaning a table. I'm not gonna be a doctor, Apella. That's what I came here to tell you. What? What are you talking about? Why not? Things haven't been going well for me. You see, for the past few years, I've been obsessed with washing my hands. I probably wash my hands 50 times a day. It was my way of dealing with my anxiety. I didn't think much of it until final exams came. I noticed my anxiety got a lot worse and I suddenly found myself scrubbing everything in my apartment throughout the day. Some days, it got so bad that I wouldn't even leave my dorm room. When I would leave, I'd stress if I locked the door. I'd worry if I turned the lights off or if I left the stove on. It was a never ending cycle. And that's when I met with a doctor who diagnosed me with obsessive compulsive disorder. So you see, Abuela, OCD is real. And those that have it can't help it. I got so bad that I had to drop out of school because I was getting anxiety over the littlest things. Oh my gosh, honey. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I was waiting to tell you in person. But sometimes you're not the easiest person to talk to. I'm so sorry, honey. I completely understand now. And I promise. From now on, I'll do better. Can I see some of that? But the person I think you need to apologize to is Ruby. You're absolutely right. Thank you for coming back, Ruby. I now know that OCD is real. I really appreciate that. So, shall we eat? Sure. Just. One second. <sighs> there. Now we can eat. <laughs> All we need is a three-pointer. We make this shot, we're going to game seven in the championship. Yes! On my team, gay cannot play. I really thought you'd go to college. Do you think you'll get a scholarship? Once people find out about you. That'd be my dream. No one's gonna want you, man.